Hey guys and welcome back. So I'm Ali if you're new and right now Melbourne is in stage four restrictions and I feel like a blob. I have been eating so crappily. I'm not really moving my body so it's not looking great um, but I am not happy about this. I know that I feel best when I am fueling my body correctly, when I'm actually moving it every day, whether that's just like a quick walk or an actual workout or something more fun like a dance class or whatever. So I am challenging myself for a week to move my body every day. So it could be any of those things from like an actual good workout to just a quick walk because I have obviously still got like uni and other stuff going on. So I want it to be realistic, something I could keep doing. Um, and I'm also going to try and not eat sugar. So, I'm a massive sweet tooth, like massive sweet tooth. I love sugar. I love a little snack here and there. Um, and when I say not eat sugar, I don't mean all sugar because I, I just can't do that. Like, um, so I'm definitely still eating like natural sugars, like fruits and all that stuff because I feel like they're good for you anyway. Um, and they're delicious and they're a good alternative. So what I'm more talking about is processed sugar. Um, obviously not everything because there's just sugar in like, you know, bread and literally everything like yogurt, literally, literally everything. But I more mean stuff that's literally like chocolate or cookies or ice cream. That is my challenge. Um, this isn't like a results video of like, you know, trying to lose that quarantine fat that you've got or whatever, because I don't, it's not really about the way that I look. This is more because I know that I feel best. I feel most energized and motivated when I'm eating, not correctly, but just better for me, healthier, and I'm moving my body. Stop rambling now and let's get into it. So on the first day, I hadn't actually planned to do this as such, so I didn't really video much. So I'm just gonna chuck it in here. Um, so this was Saturday. And I was very lucky that before we went into quarantine, I was able to join Moncad um, and like the POM section of that. So what that means is every Saturday I have a POM training and a workout run by like the club's PT. Love her to bits, but she kills us. But here is the workout we did. It was a cardio and then strength. So she just kept switching between. Um, and we did like four or five sets. I'm probably not going to show you all of the workout, but I'll just show you bits of it. Um, it really killed, but it was great. Skies of a different light, why noise it keeps me up at night? I can't help but think back to you. I wish that I could find a face that I would recognize. I replay the memory of you. It's been hard. Bethies are gonna be the death of me. so great like I feel great just so now I'm gonna have my favorite snack for after this workout I freeze a banana um, like a day or two in advance or just any time that's more than like 24 hours ish um, and then you blend that up with just a little bit of milk it's banana ice cream it's so delicious it's cold as well which is perfect for after a workout so I'm gonna enjoy that have a shower um, but yeah day one success to be honest today is gonna to be the easiest because it's like planned but yay good morning guys from day two um so today is sunday and me and my friend are about to go for a walk but it's meant to rain technically all day but it hasn't started yet so we're pretty much just hedging our bets and we're gonna head out now and hope that we don't get soaked we'll see i've got a hoodie on so we'll be okay um but yeah that's the plan and I forgot to show you, but this morning for brekkie, I just had raisin toast, which I know has probably got like a bit of sugar in that, but I'm not being insanely strict with the whole diet thing, so I'm counting that as okay. So it is now like 
10 p.m. and a snack that I love having when I want something kind of sweet and like delicious but has no actual like sugar in that is cutting up some apple and then you literally just take cinnamon and chuck it all over it but you literally cover it in cinnamon um, and then you chuck it into the microwave and then I just put like a little bit of like droplets of water over all of the apple on that and it makes it so soft and delicious so there's a little snack for y'all and some good old raisin toast for brekkie it's just so good <laughs> it's now lunchtime and on mondays i have two shoots with like an hour break in the middle so i can't really be bothered to cook anything because i want to have a quick lunch so i can like get prepared so on saturday i had made a awesome um just like veggie pasta i guess so it has cauliflower broccoli mushrooms and then i'm gonna cut up a tomato now and add that in and then dad also made just like a big batch of like beef mushrooms carrot zucchini sort of thing which i'm just gonna add in as well so it's kind of just like a bolognese veggie pasta um and have that as a delicious lunch i'm sorry that my head was cut out of that for half of it but there you go um and i love this because it's really great today's a really cold day so it's nice to warm up with a yummy delicious warm lunch and it's also pre-done so i'm not wasting any time and then i love my cheese i'm such a cheese girl so i will put some feta and parmesan on and i know this isn't like the healthiest of meals like it's pasta and that but personally i love carbs i am not a um diet and no carbs girl at all i don't think i'd survive um so yeah this is me having a kind of healthy but also dope. we're not even gonna change the angle also delicious lunch <laughs> and a delicious lunch okay many hours later it is now like 3 p.m yeah it's like 3 p.m exactly so i'm gonna duck out for a quick walk hopefully before too many people finish their classes i mean i don't know i don't think it'll make much of a difference but this is just like a quick study break walk get outside and the weather is nice again and the clouds look insane wowza it will it focus look at that insane and we are in the same color top but different top because we love a bit of green um but I just wanted like a before dinner snack because I am just constantly hungry. Um, I'm really craving chocolate, but I'm trying hard to stick to the no just like raw sugar sort of stuff. Um, so I've cut up a capsicum as a quick snack, which I actually really like. It's like crunchy, it's like crisp, um, refreshing. But yeah, I'm really craving chocolate right now. Sorry about these angles, but I can't be willing to get out like the tripod or set anything up. So here we are, my kitchen bench. Um, it is like 10.30 now and I was going to go for a healthy snack and I really can't be bothered. I really want something hot and warm and nice. So from Woolies, you can get these like packs of like frozen stuff. So we have some cauliflower, which is like lightly crumbed, but hey, it's like a veggie at least. And then these are zucchini and feta things and then these are like pumpkin things so it's not crazy unhealthy but also even though they say they have veggies in them i feel like they're not that healthy but they're delicious hello from i think day four today is tuesday and i've made myself delicious avo with like some tomato and feta because it's such like a staple meal i know it'll fill me up and also i find the tomato always like cuts through the avo fat a bit which i love and I'm sitting outside because it is so gorgeous. Well, I have yummy bruschetta for lunch, which is healthy and delicious. So, yay. So, it's way later now. It's like almost dinner time-ish. And I have seriously been craving some sugary food. And in particular, let me show you. So, Dad was doing the weekly shop. And before I decided I was going to go no sugar this week, I asked him to please get some like cookie dough or like cookie ice cream. So now we have Oreo cookies and cream vibe ice cream in the freezer. 
and I keep thinking about it and really wanting to we're staying strong, but I'm just, like just craving chocolate. Like I'm craving chocolate, but I'm also just, I just want like a cookie or like something. <sighs> just a little update. <laughs> Tonight we have a yummy stir fry. Yay. Just had a dance, which was fun. I always love moving my body in a way that isn't just like a walk or a workout. It's more like, you know, a bit free, a bit more artistic. I don't know if that's the right word, but that sort of vibe. Uh, so moving my body for the day, done. And I know they're not the best for you, but I actually really liked the like cauliflower things yesterday. I'm gonna have some more of those um, because they're at least like, a veggie it's just that they're coated in like breadcrumbs but that's not that bad and i'm heating them up in like the oven not in like oil so yum quick snack because i always snack i'm a snack girl if you guys have any healthy snacks please let me know i really need some good healthy snacks hello lovely people so today is wednesday um <laughs> And it has been gloomy and cloudy and like pouring down rain for majority of today. It's actually stopped now, which is kind of nice. But yeah, it hasn't been like walking weather. So me and my friends are going to do a Chloe Ting's workout, uh, like the ab ones, which I actually did back in April or like May for like a week or so. And they're intense. So <laughs> it'll be fun. But it'll also be a challenge. Also, it looks like I'm bald right now. Ugh. Um, But yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. It'll be fun. We're going to like zoom and do it together. Uh, and probably die a bit together. But it'll be good. Move our bodies. Get fit again. Um, And in terms of food, sorry, I haven't videoed it today. I feel like it wasn't that interesting. I had some good old homemade bread for brekkie. And then a wrap pizza, which I've done lots of videos about. Or it's been in lots of videos. Um, which was yummy, veggies, and delicious. Uh, but yeah, let's go make our abs burn. Thursday guys I never know the day of the week anymore um so this morning I had raisin toast for brekkie and now I'm gonna go make some delicious eggs and abo and toast and what am I doing and then me and my friend are going for a walk because today is a lot sunnier it's still cold but at least there's sun because yesterday it was raining uh, but yes that's the plan let's do it <laughs> Hello friends, I am sucking with these food, excuse me, um, I have been seriously sucking with the food updates I guess, so very sorry. Um, dad made some delicious steak with like a bunch of veggies and uh, some potato. It was delicious, nice, hot, yummy meal. And then I had an orange as a snack as well as some cheese. I've literally just been snacking on cheese. I don't know what my body is doing, but it's really craving calcium. I always had like a Yakut, maybe I'll have some yogurt, I don't know. And then I had an orange as a snack because I love oranges. They're really refreshing, which I love at nighttime because it kind of gives you a bit of like liquid into your body before you sleep as well. And they're just sweet. They kind of get like that night craving that I always have for like something sweet. Uh, An update, me and my friend found this gorgeous little like waterfall thing, which you've probably already seen by now. Um, and a new park, which we'd never, not waterfall, sorry, water fountain. 
um, which we'd never found though. And like we've been in quarantine for like five, six months now. So we genuinely thought we had found everywhere around us because we live like a kilometer, 500 meters away, like very close. So we've kind of just explored all that area, but we were so happy because we found somewhere new. Um, and it's definitely like still within our area. We just never walked down a certain track because we didn't really realize it existed. So that was really fun. Happy Friday, guys. So the week is almost done. We've stayed strong, no sugar yet, but I am honestly a bit excited for before my workout tomorrow to just have like a scoop of ice cream because it is calling to me and I want it. Um, but this morning we just have some good old Vegemite and butter toast. Um, and I might just go for a short walk today because I have so much uni work to do. Uh, but yeah, it should be pretty chill. But I am actually loving the way that my body feels like I'm not really craving sugar anymore, which is good because I know that like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry about this lighting. I know that I can obviously get through like the day without, this is terrible, without eating sugar. I give up. Um, but it's just a good reminder that I can do it for like a full week, even though, you know, there was stuff like raisin bread and that, which, or toast, which has a bit of sugar, but it's better than, you know, going and just eating a couple of chocolate chips because I'm craving chocolate or something like that. Saturday, I did it. I'm very happy. Um, so that was a week without like raw sugar is what I kept saying, but just sugar that's like cookies or chocolate or anything like that. Very perhaps kind of the wrong word, but I mean kind of. Like I am such a sweet tooth, as I said. So this makes me really happy just to remind myself I can do it, as I mentioned earlier. And I have been loving moving my body more, like I don't know, I think with uni, I just, I get in my head and I'm like, I have so much to do, Ali, there's no time to get outside. Just like, go, 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 get your uni work done. But what I really should be doing is prioritizing, going for a walk, going for a walk with a friend, doing a workout at home, and like, just not watching like two YouTube videos because that'll be so much better. Sorry, the last bit got cut off, but all I was saying is I hope that you guys give this a try if you want. It makes your body feel so good. I feel motivated and I'm really going by the thing of self-discipline is equal to self-love because it really is. You're taking care of your body, your mental health as well, you know, getting outside, getting some fresh air and it's great. So I love you guys so much. I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you found something to be grateful for today. You found that reason to smile and I will see you next sunny Sunday. Bye. So good.